chambers and functions of the human heart. So, in this video, we learn about the simple anatomy of the heart. Your heart is located in the center of your chest. Its muscular walls contract, which creates your heartbeat and pumps blood throughout the body. As your blood moves around, it delivers nutrients and oxygen to every cell in the body. Every heart has four chambers. These are the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The two upper chambers or atria receive blood, while the two lower chambers or ventricles pump blood. Blood returning from your body's organs and tissues enters the right atrium. Because this blood has provided oxygen to your body, it is very oxygen poor. It moves to the right ventricle and out to the lungs to pick up more oxygen in a process called gas exchange. The now oxygen-rich blood travels into the left atrium and into the left ventricle before your heart pumps it to the rest of the body. Each chamber is separated by the cardiac muscle and valves. The valves effectively move blood throughout the heart by opening in only one direction. This forces the blood to pass through the chambers into the lungs and into your body without backing up or flowing backward. Watch as the valves open and close between the atria and ventricles. The atrioventricular or AV valves are between the atria and the ventricles are each side of the heart. They are the tricuspid and the bicuspid or the mitral valve. The tricuspid is on the right side and the bicuspid is on the left side. There are also two semilunar valves, the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. The pulmonary valve is in between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. And the aortic valve is in between the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. When the AV valves close, they prevent blood from flowing back into the atria while the ventricles are contracting. The tricuspid has three flexible cusps or flaps, and the bicuspid has two. Cardiac tendon A are tapped to the capillary muscles, which are located in the ventricles. When these muscles contract, the white string like cardiac tendon A become taut. It is this cardiac tendon A, together with the capillary muscles, that keep the valve shut when the ventricle contracts. Finally, let us see how all of these muscles, chambers, and valves work together and let us watch how blood flows through the heart. This diagram shows the blood entering the heart from the body. At this stage, it's oxygen poor. After traveling to the lungs, it returns to the heart, it's oxygen rich. The blood leaving the left ventricle is heading for the body. This process repeats itself over and over again to effectively deliver oxygen and nutrients to your body.